It's who I am. Get used to it. Fear the assassin with no master. Try to keep up. Quick and deadly. Feel me now? Oh, you're gonna bleed. Let's have some fun. Hey guys, welcome back. We are playing Akali today. AP Assassin, super fun to play, but also really hard to master. And this time around, we are playing against the Vagar, and he's actually known as a counter pick to Akali. Because whenever I try to engage onto somebody in a fight, he just drops down the cage, and I'm gonna be stuck. Because all of my mobility uh, comes from dashes, and of course, his C is gonna block all of that, so that's going to be interesting later on. In the landing phase, it's pretty okay though, like he still has his cage, but. Lane is pretty simple, but the hard part comes when um, we start grouping and when he gets some ability haste items. Just want to last it honestly. We want level 3 before we really go in. We definitely need the W and the E up. Okay, that was a good Q. Just let him push. Not trying to poke poker, so that's great. And the first part in the bot, bot, game, bot lane. I was about to say bot game, yikes. Almost level 3. Oh, I don't know if he's doing it intentionally, but like he's being really good with the Qs. Like hitting a minion and me at the same time. There we go. Okay, that's fine. The thing is, your Q actually costs a lot of energy early on, guys, so you cannot be spamming it. Um, but with your W, then it's actually fine. Like, um, you're getting some energy and... But still be careful, because your W does have a pretty high cooldown, and if you use it, then you're going to be vulnerable to ganks. Just go for short trades where we can proc the Electrocute, and then when you hit level 6, that's why you look for those all-ins. I could probably have flashed Q him. But that's a lot of damage. You can see Electrocute really does set up. It gives you a lot more kill pressure in the lane compared to Conqueror. Conqueror is great if you're playing against a Bruiser team or a tanky team. But Electrocute is really, really OP and feels really nice uh, with this one shot build. Because if you play against squishy targets, then you're just gonna straight up one shot them. Yeah, see the Karthus. Go for him. What? Yeah, he took it down. That's kind of faster than expected though. He might be in our jungle, I don't know what happened. But we definitely won level 6 on Akali, that's why uh, the kills come in usually. But there he is, okay. A kill for the echo, he, he's playing without flash, but he does have the exhaust though, so he can like bait him out. Hopefully, he does not get baited. I work alone, it's better for everyone. That E is what you really have to try to hit because that's like your gap closer before you hit um, level six. Nice, he wasted the abilities. The only thing is, your wake is pretty bad, guys. Um, it can be really annoying if people just AFK push because then you can't really punish them. And also avoid picking Akali into something like a Galio and a Vagar of course. I just picked it here to show how to play the matchup but otherwise you don't really want to play her into that because that's going to be a very frustrating um, mid game. Maybe even the landing phase depends um, if you're getting camped or not. Here we go. Wait what? What? Why did you flash bro? Okay, I mean that's cool. That means once I hit level 6, so I can also just flash him here, I think. I don't know why he flashed though. But we'll take it. There we go, and we hit level 6 as well. So we can use that ultimate for another kill. Alright, oh, we need to push this in as well because that wave is coming. That's kind of annoying though, like that's pretty bad timing uh, because now he has TP as well and our wave player kind of sucks this early on in the game. 
to see the minions are surviving with like almost no HP, but that's fine. We got to push it in, so that's what matters. He doesn't have summoners up now, so we also need to look for a kill. Um, Ignite is also up and the ultimate is ready. So if we want to do stuff, it's now. I'm gonna get the alternator here. E backwards and then W just so you can get back to lane a bit faster. You get that dash and also that bonus movement speed. And he's low HP already. I don't know what happened to this guy. But when you use your ultimate, try to like combine it with your E guys because that gives you like a guaranteed re-engage. Um, that's really important to know. Was within range. He probably wants the base now. No way he's gonna step up, right? He's staying back. Like, he can play this way safer, he never needs to walk up. Like, it's not necessary for him. So I could have used my ultimate right here, but what happens if he puts down the cage? When I do so, I'm gonna be stuck and taking a lot of tower shots. I don't want to risk dying, he might greet for this uh, minion right here though. Just like that, and back. That's also something you can do guys, um, of course E to the W. That's great if you can like execute the target, like if they're low enough HP and you also need a way out, then that's also something you can do. Oh, run away. Ah, uh, yikes, okay. Might take this one. I think the other way? Take this. Wait, are you? Ah, <laughs> uh, this bliss crank, bro. What? You could, you could even hear him recall, and he randomly hooks into this push. Okay. Well, that is very questionable. I don't know what I was watching there. But okay. We have a lot of burst damage because of the alternator, but it does have a cooldown. Like when you go all in, try to like make sure that you have it ready. But that is a lot of damage. Yeah, somehow. I went in a little bit too early on. I wanted to engage. Almost have ultimate up as well. Ah, uh, that sucks. That random gank out of nowhere. But you can see how annoying that cage is, guys. You can just put it down like that and we're gonna be stuck. I'm probably going for the one-shot build. I do have some tenacity uh, with this rune right here. Um, but maybe... I don't think it's quite enough. But also, Sork Shoes is such a big spike on Akali that if you don't get it, then it's going to be really, really... Um, Annoying in the early game because you're losing out on a lot of damage and that can really make the difference um, in a fight where both of you get to low HP. <laughs> He's going in. Nice. Kazus is dead. He's not gonna survive that. Nice. Hopefully Volibear doesn't die because then it's not worth it. Electrocute. That's why I really like to use it on Akali. Might have to room, but I work alone. Oh, guys are really struggling. No mind. Just kidding. And they got a really nice shot down on top of that as well. We'll take that. And we're getting the herald. It's looking good. My ultimate is almost up, so we need to look for another kill. It's best if you can use this ultimate off cooldown. Um, that's of course not always possible. But if you can, that's really huge. So I got two plates right here. That's a bit more gold than what you would get from a kill. Watch out for the uh, Karthus. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it.
I would add E if E in right here if it lasted long enough. It looks like the cage has around the same duration as that E when you hit somebody with it. Okay, that's a bit too many. Uh, I would engage if it were only two people, but that's a bit too much. We don't want none of that. If you're still staying? Not. We'll take that. Don't disrespect the Akali early game damage. And their Q to wave clear. So wave clear is not the best on this champion. Um, that's one of the annoying parts. Um, okay. Echo. If I can get him. Where's he holding from? There he is. Oh, okay, he still had his holes in Nice. That's actually a smart ultimate by the Malphite because he wanted to make sure I was within range of Karthus' passive so he could like Q spam me. But I, I was surprised that our teammates died without him using the ultimate. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Shadow Flame, next item. That is some really really nice early game damage guys. I hope he gets to recall before the Vega comes. I honestly have no words for this Blitz crank. I don't know what I'm watching. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Now we have another dash though on the rocket build. Like on top of having that flat magic pen, we have that extra dash. Maybe it can help us gap close or dodge the Vega cage. We'll see. The most important important part is the damage. Want to do it? Okay, okay, another one. I'm good. I am good. But we can also kill this guy. I don't have the W up, otherwise I would have went in right now. You need to be careful. Always play around the W on Akali. If it's down, then you can't really go from any place because people will be able to target you. Can you take the Drake? Good. Well. Okay. I need to help them. You can hook the uh, Vegar. Nice. Nice, well done. This crank. Okay, that's fine. Echo got the kill. Like, he had no kill, so that's fine. I tried to, like, take everything, but, like, the last one is alright. So they have actually, Sonya's Hourglass would be a really good purchase this game guys, cause they have the Kazus ultimate. And it's also great against all of them actually, cause you can dodge a lot of stuff with it. Right, got a lot of AP. And if they don't buy MR right now, they're gonna suffer. Just remember, really try to practice this R into E a lot guys, like ultimate, first part of your ultimate into the E because if you hit people with that, uh, if you attack them with E guys then they're not going to escape even if they have flash up, like you're still able to get the kill I can actually one shot him here It's really nice for the blue buff though Nice. So this guy has flash up, right? Or did he use it? I don't know. He kept chasing me, so I was kind of scared. But I'll peace out. We got this one out. We can sell that. Get the shadow flame. We could also wait a bit. Like, we don't need it anymore. Like, we are so fed that we just gonna one shot anyone who steps up. Uh, 
yeah, cool. Cool. Can't say I like what I'm seeing, but yeah. Oh, Wally Bag coming in. Nice. No flash? Oh, okay, okay. We'll take those. But this build is so fun. Like, you get so much burst damage. Really try it out. Like, especially if you play a lot of Conqueror, Kali, or Rift Mega. Try this out when you're playing against a squishy team. Like, it's so strong. Can't wait for the Kartus. I think I might actually just save my stuff just to kill the Kartus because he's so annoying. There he is. Come this way. Oh, they're training one for one. Where's the Aphelios? I thought he would try to flank me over here so I could like, get the kill, but he's not. I see the Swain. Alrighty. Like, this champion is so fun, like, if you learn her combos, guys. Like, there's so much stuff you can do. It's a really flashy champ, like the set, uh, Yasuo, Yone and such. Super rewarding as well, because, like, she takes a lot of time for you to master her. Like, it doesn't take that many games to, like, um, pick her up, but, like, to really master her, the combos, and all that good stuff, you have to put in a lot of games, and if you can do so, even when she's not in a very good spot, you can still do really well. You can still carry the games. Because she has a lot of mobility, she has really high kill pressure. Um, so you can find a lot of different ways to like engage in a fight and reach the carries. I don't think these guys are realizing that it's really bad to trade like this. Because it's the Carthus, he just wants to press R. One thing that's good is that he doesn't have first strike because then he would just be full build. Like, he will be full build almost instantly. Okay, I don't want to go for that. I have a big gold bounty. I don't want to risk none of that, especially when I don't have Sonya's Hourglass yet against the ultimates. That's a Blitzcrank solo killer. That's cool. You can take the Draven, just don't take my blue buff. Malphite. Alright, Dragon spawning. Normally you kinda prefer to have the um, Infernal Drake when you play Assassins. Aries, cause you get damage. That's also fine. He doesn't have any MR. It's not coming for it. Oh, okay, top lane. Volibear doing his magic top side. Harold, and we're getting the third drag. That's nice. They have a scaling team composition, but we're getting the objectives, so it's fine. They can't stop me. These are the kind of games where you really want to close it out early on because they have really good scaling. They have the Carthus, they have the Vagar. Ilios, even the Malphite. We have like nothing. We have Echo, he's pretty strong late game. With the Dark Harvest when he's full build, but that's pretty much it. Akali is not a late game champ, she's a mid game champion like the Assassins. Oh, this guy is tilted. It's like a typical Draven player. That they get stomped in the lane and then they just start running it down. We have the Sun and Sourglass now though. That's really nice because now we can like go in with all of our stuff and then even if you're low HP, Kartus presses his ultimate, we can just pop it. But it's still a core item normally, even if Kartus was not in the game. The old ways just don't work. Because you are a melee assassin, that means that whenever you fight, you're always going to be straight in the middle of the fight, so people will be focusing you down. What is that random... what? Let's go. Your 
Why do people place that cannon right there? That's so random. Man, that sucks that Raven is really griefing us. That's such a random... I don't know why he placed the cannon right there. He definitely did not see me coming. That must have been completely random and then I got tagged. They can go for the... Uh, actually, they cannot. I got the card too, so that's fine. Yeah, that's the typical Draven player. If they soft in like this, guys, they'll never get banned. But we can actually... Um, we have to like group. Even if it's only the four of us. An enemy has been slain. If we just group, then we can do fine. And he got a kill right here, so that's okay. We are playing for the objectives. I might need to get a void staff. Actually, they're not buying any MR. Oh, he didn't get the tower. Unlucky. If you got the tower, I could have bought a light rod, um, because then we just go straight into a death cap. A lot of burst damage against zero magic resistance. Why didn't he just kill the... Uh... Oh no. Get the tower at least. Wow, that is really awful. I think I need to assassinate the Kathos here. Oh, please let me out. Yikes, I missed up the combo. That minion block bo body block did. Kind of annoying. But okay. I hope that we can get the last rake, the soul. And then maybe turn that into a Baron. Because this was a fight without the Aphelios. And we almost lost it. And... Um, if Draven griefs like this, then me and Neko both magic damage, so they can just buy that to counter us. Okay, he's going for it. Um, I could probably trade uh, trade one for one with the Karthus, but look, he's two levels up on our Echo. Because like they just keep trading kills uh, for kills, and Karthus gets a lot more value from it. Because he just presses ult in the fight, and his TGs. Oh, he has TP up. He needs to move now. We need to kill him one. Alright, let's go. No, I cannot press the Sonyas. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Yikes, that is so unlucky. I got knocked out by the Malphite, so I was not able to proc the um, Eustace on his hourglass. We could have killed all of them without me dying. I think the Echo would have died no matter what, but I did not have to die right there. I should probably just have used it. Or stop chasing. We got the Drake, so I would say it's worth it. Took down the Aphelios. Now we can uh, pressure for the Baron. So what's good right here is that the Elder Drake will spawn next and then maybe we can use that to end the game with, or the Baron, depends. It's like their jungle is really fed and he just presses the ultimate and it's gonna kill all of us, right? But I'm level 16, 3 levels up on the mid laner, 2 levels up on the jungler. It's up to me to do something, but when they start focusing me down, I start building MR like the Swain right here, that's why it becomes even more difficult. This guy. Go for him. He doesn't have flash up, so we just need to all in him. The good thing about this full AP, like one shot Akali, is that your Q has really get great wave clear. Oh, 
were not into me, bro. An ult? He almost got me killed. Like, uh, Blitzcrank almost got me killed because he hooked the um, Kassas into me. But nice job by the Volibear. We actually have two, we, uh, two versus eight right now, me and the Volibear. Like the others are just running it down. Trying to do some funny stuff, but now we have the Death Cap and they're starting to get a little bit of MR, so it's perfect time to get the Void Staff. But you can see, uh, when I try to engage, like they really try to perma CC me. And the thing is, if they chain CC guys, I'm dead. Like, I'm not doing anything. This guy, yeah, he's really tilted. <laughs> right, cool, cool. I mean, at least he's getting one for one. But that's actually kind of bad, because... Then he keeps being worth something in gold, and he donates that to the enemy. We need to take out the cartels, and then we force them to like face check. He can use the W to like um, get vision. I don't want to stay in here. He's almost 16. Nice. Whoops, did not want to use the rocket belt. <laughs> wait, yo, wait, 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 we don't have... Echo? We don't have two people with us, bro. Polybear was AFK, Raven was dead. It's hard to pressure something when people are not coordinating stuff. Got me thrown away from the cannon. Volibear split pushing, that's fine. I think he should have bought the hole breaker maybe. If he's just going to split push the entire game, then it would actually have been super worth it. Normally, you need to play around the Blitzcrank, but he's not really walking up. Let's see. We need like we need the Draven actually to take the Baron. Without it, it's going to be really hard. This Krang, I don't know. He thinks he's playing Janna or something. I don't know why he's staying behind and not trying to hook people. Right now, it's okay, but like he does this in general, where he just stays back and not hook anyone. Arthur has his uh, Sonya up. If I die, it's really bad for us because Volibear is pushing top. Oh, that almost killed me. Oh no, if Kazus holds. I don't have my Sonya sub if he ults, I'm dead. I hope they don't kill him right now. Okay, that's great. I think he was in a fight or something, so he was not able to ult. Like, if he ulted right there, I would have been dead. Nice, guys. Can we do this? I don't think we can end, but we can take the uh, Baron, no? The Echo is recalling, so we're not able to take it. Can this guy decide? If you look you look we can't take it. It really sucks, because we don't have the Draymond with us, he's just running it down. You have no damage. Man, I don't know what I'm watching. That's really... Um, yeah. Hopefully getting the burn at least. Wow, these guys, I, haven't, I have no words. <laughs> All right, now that means that they're getting the uh, Elder Drake. Unless Volibear gets the kill. So they cannot take it, and then we can take it and maybe end. Nice. Nice, well done.
I'm not gonna tank the damage though. That's not that's really bad for us, no? See how many they have. I pressed down the W instantly, guys, when I went in, if you saw it. Um, because... What is this clown doing? Bro! I pressed it immediately because, as you can see, when I went in, they just instantly focused me down. So by doing that, I made sure that I survived, did not have to die. Man, this is really bad of me to stay. Uh, because the Kathos, if he ults... He has that double burn thingy. I'm really scared of staying. Just make sure I don't take any damage from the other Drake. Alright. Alright, finally. And that's a full build game as Akali. That is so rare. That almost never happens. If I have to be honest, most games end like in 25-30 minutes. But we also sitting on 21 kills. This Draven is almost full build as well. He also has 12 kills, but 16, he died 16 times. Now it's really, really fun. We got the Elder Rake, so just gotta execute people. Just gotta find the Aphilios, just one shot him. But Wallabat is already doing the job. I think we did a pretty great job at 2 versus 8 this game here, me and the Wallabat. Now the Sonya is up. I want to tank that damage. He has like Omega Burn. Alrighty. Fix the stuff and let's end the game. I'm just gonna take this off here. But that was the Akali video guys, I hope this was helpful. As always, thanks for watching and see y'all next time.